Has the Philippines become more anti-foreigner since the Turkey's taking power? I would say it's more about transition. Um, what you're finding is a lot of negative media about the Philippines. And if you've spent time in the Philippines, they, you find there's a lot of, I, I call it false pride in many ways, because it's not real pride in something. It's more a case of they know there's issues, but they don't want to talk about it. Um, and it's sort of, they don't like people interfering in what they see as domestic issues. Um, so when you start getting this issues with Obama and other bits and pieces, as the Western media try to play politics in a country that's got nothing to do with them, um, it doesn't go down well with Filipinos. They don't like it. They don't like people interfering in their country. Um, a lot of people are seeing Duterte as giving them some hope that changes will happen and things will improve and it's going to become the next big Hong Kong type place. It's all going to be amazing. Um, so when they actually start seeing this negative media as if Duterte is bad, they, re they have a view on it. And when it's coming from America or whatever, obviously that affects how they see foreigners. But I will also, also say that I know myself from being in the Philippines, there's always been some racism in there. Um, but, I mean, everyone sees the, the normal racism, the, um, the foreign attacks, but there is other stuff that go, I mean, even if you go to a museum, there's a different price quoted if you're a foreigner. You know, compared to the local prices, which, okay, in Cuba and places are like that, they do have that sort of stuff, but it's called racism. <laughs> um, but the, the whole point is, we're, we shouldn't really get into those disputes. Politics is always bad in other people's countries anyway. Is it, The main thing is not to get dragged into it. Um, but I would just say be a bit more wary about getting into those conversations with people, because... People can be a bit um, unfriendly or more reactive these days. Um, before, people didn't really see any light at the end of the tunnel. But the turret is creating that. It doesn't matter if he is going to actually do it or not. The fact is, there is hope that he will. And this is why you may be feeling that things are a little bit more anti-foreigner. But you have to remember, the, the problems that the Philippines is facing doesn't come from the West. The West doesn't create these scenarios. Um, I'm not saying that it helps either, um, but I will say that a lot of the problems are internal. And that's why you're getting people go, it's none of your business. What do you want? You know, it's got nothing to do with foreigners, blah, blah, blah. Why well, don't you foreigners go home? Um, which... Obviously, you can have the other responses. Why don't all you Filipinos go home? There's over ten. There's around ten million of you overseas. Um, but what's the point of those arguments? Because there is no point to it. That's what I'm saying. Just don't get into it. You know, the people are arguing about stuff that really is not going to affect them in a positive light. Um, you're going to get the negative idiot on both sides. Um, but the main thing is just not engage with them. You will get the oh foreigners this, foreigners that, yeah. they, they, they need something to argue about. If it wasn't this, they'd be arguing about something else. Um, just don't get into those arguments. Simple as that. It's just not worth the hassle. Um, would I see it actually affecting tourism or stuff in the Philippines? I don't think so. It's not a civil war. It's not a uprising. It's a change of government. There hasn't been any um, major shifts yet. Um, I'm not saying that they won't happen, because they may still do. But I know a, a lot of Americans I've spoken to are talking about they don't like the fact that the Turkey is um, siding more with Russia and China. I would actually say at the moment he hasn't sided with anybody. It's how the media manipulate things. At the moment, he's got his door open to everybody. He is not the one um, creating any issues. What you'll find is it's how it's reported. Because when people are trying to interfere in the Philippines itself, 
Duterte's telling them to get stuffed. It's not an international incident either. He's just saying, mind your own business. And, okay, he's outspoken. He's well known for that. And people are, oh, it's affected the stock market in a really negative way. And that was three days ago. And then yesterday, there was a, another news article from another news group saying how it has a positive effect since he's taking power. Don't trust the media. The information useless these days. Um, governments realized some time ago that the whole point of information is misinformation. If you turn around and create thousands and thousands of articles of yes, no, yes, no, then there is nothing of value in any of it. So even the facts become so blurred, you wouldn't know it was right or wrong anyway, unless you actually physically seen it. Um, governments realized that a long time ago. This is why you find anti this, pro that, anti this, maybe that, you know, because it's all about good and evil. Um, because there's no shades of grey in conflicts or anything else these days. There is only good and evil. And the problem with good and evil is the majority of things are actually in the middle. That's why you see two extremes, um, because you have an extreme re reaction and an extreme reaction this side. They won't meet in the middle. But all the bits in the middle, they've removed from the media. Just be aware of that. When you see information, sit and look at it, analyze it, but also go and get some other sources. Because a lot of the information is not correct. It's not a full picture. It's that context is often wrong. Um, how people view it is where this anger comes from. Um, because they see it as factual. They see it as the only bit of information. And it's often where all these little bits of outbursts and that come from. Because the assumption is, that's what he said. That is what he's going to do. That is. Where's the rest of it? He did a presentation for two hours. Why have I only got one line? Thanks for watching.